I work for the Geological Survey of Canada, which is a branch of the federal government. I'm a research scientist specializing in stratigraphy. Stratigraphy is very much related to sedimentology, which is the interpretation of how sedimentary rocks are deposited, for example, river or marine settings. Now, sedimentary rocks are generally composed of layers, and stratigraphy studies those layers. And we interpret depositional environments for each layer and then study the successive relationship. So river deposits overlain by marine deposits would indicate sea level rise. So the stratigraphy interprets um, sea level changes and the evolution of the landscape in response to that. And the end result is to estimate the resource potential of Canada. The main source of jobs would be the petroleum industry, where the geometry of uh, sedimentary layers is quite important in determining where oil and gas accumulations are. The salary range for a stratigrapher would be starting probably around $60,000 and going up. But a lot of people working in the petroleum industry uh, make salaries approaching $100,000 a year and more. To become a stratigrapher, a lot of people will start off with a bachelor's degree um, from a, a university, and that, that will generally get you a job. A little bit more specialized will be a master's degree. Uh, myself, I have a, uh, a doctorate in geology, specializing in stratigraphy, and for a, a research position, that is largely what is required. For me, a typical day in the field would consist of waking up in a tent, uh, having breakfast in another tent, and jumping into a helicopter and flying to a location where I'm gonna spend the day. And that could be, I've worked in the mountains, I've also worked in the high Arctic. My lunch spots are uh, ridges and streams uh, anywhere in Northern Canada. I usually try to pick the nicest view. And uh, after a long day outside, a sleep in a tent is one of the most restful sleeps that you'll ever find. Uh, I love it. So now, two weeks of field work will generally give me about a year's worth of work in the office. And that consists of sending samples to labs. I have a lot of partners in university and other government uh, organizations. Uh, the main, my main output is in fact writing reports and writing uh, articles in scientific journals. That's the most important part of my work, actually. And so I spend a lot of time drafting on my computer, plotting data on maps, and uh, writing reports. <laughs> Personality traits that are helpful in stratigraphy are mental flexibility, uh, generally having an open mind, and letting the rocks speak to you rather than forcing your vision on them. Skill sets that are helpful in stratigraphy are photography at the outcrop, for a person to be observant, to be able to uh, document what you see and write it down. Uh, there's a lot of graphical interpretation in stratigraphy. The main output is in fact a cross-section, so I spend a lot of time drafting. Aspects of my job can be very physically demanding, uh, for example, working in mountains, we'd basically climb them over the course of a day. Uh, river cuts, you're scaling uh, little cliffs. That part can be demanding, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Now in the outcrop, a lot of people in stratigraphy work almost entirely in the subsurface. And so they can go to a, an office nine to five and work on a computer eight hours a day. That's an option. I love my job, and I, I really enjoy answering large-scale questions about the, the history of North America, the, um, the basin history, the collisional history, uh, how you know, parts of BC collided with, with North America to form the continent we see today, how Greenland rifted away, how in the Devonian, it was quite likely Siberia that collided with the northern margin of Canada. Those things are, are quite interesting. The, the interplay of tectonics and stratigraphy, 
I think, uh, really gets me excited. <laughs> I almost don't know why. 